what's good, YouTube family? Nah, no, what's good, King Tiny Gang? Yeah, what's good? What up? Driving back to my location, a hot spot, day two of Uber. Um, it's decent. I like it so far. I've been driving since seven o'clock. Like, I want to say seven eighteen ish, and it's ten o four right now. So I've been driving for a little minute. I see the best time to do Uber to start off is probably more like four or five o'clock ish. But the good time is school sessions. You know what I'm saying? From any time between like seven to nine forty, ten o'clock is good timing because those are when the kids, the high school kids, the middle school kids. In a half mile, keep left at the fork. My bad y'all my bad but yeah around that time is the time when like kids going to school and stuff like that so i had one incident today where i was picking up this kid and i could tell it was like a boy going to school uh shit, i was waiting to pick him up i pulled up you know on the uber app it get him like a minute and fifth like almost two minutes to come out you know what I'm saying? I stood there for the whole two minutes. The whole two minutes ended. Then it started to like recount up. And I'm like, yeah, I. Right. It wasn't no sketchy area either, but I'm like, I know you got to put the grease on your kid's face. You know, make sure they ain't ashy going to school. Make sure they got the right shoes on. Maybe he put some outside shoes on. His mama was cussing his ass out and he was supposed to put some school shoes on. Maybe she was just caught on walking out and he had holes in his pants and she like, dude, what the fuck is going on with you? Like, fix yourself. We got somebody waiting outside, but I feel like after me waiting on the time of you coming out, the time that Uber gives you versus the time that I give you, I give you a three minute break period once that time is up. Once that three minute break period up, plus the two minutes that's already, that one already passed, it's like, I could be picking up somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't like stuff like that because at the end of the day, too much stuff going on. People be sketchy as other, so it's just like, let me move around. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me find somebody else to pick up. I've been picking up high school, middle school and high school kids all morning. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, so far, I like it. It's cool. Another thing to worry about when you're doing Uber is scammers. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of them. I'm pretty sure Uber would never call you asking for your phone number so they can verify your code, so they can verify your account to, oh yeah, or, or a situation like this. Uh, yeah, this is Uber, you know. Um, I'm just calling to say you have, you're one of the specific persons, you're one of the special people, you're one of the people that earned 100 points today for dropping off the last person. They rated you good, you've been getting good rates. Um, hi, this is Uber customer service. Can we please get your phone number so we can verify your account? And don't never get at your phone number up. If you somebody call you asking for your phone number, it's somebody trying to hack your account, go on your account while you doing Uber driving, so you're not focused on your phone and checking your account. Make sure you never give that your phone number up. Somebody call you asking for your number because Oh, they want to verify your account and help you verify your account and it's coming from a fake uber number or something like that fake customer representative don't get your don't get your number up get in get a get a ass a fruit flop number do hit them with the mike jones number or something eight zero zero four whatever i forgot the numbers of mike jones hit them with that make them feel stupid like play with their mind or something like dude you think i'm stupid you think i'm that dumb to give you my number Give you the code that just came to my phone. So while I'm doing Uber, you're going to be in my account putting your banking information in. And now you're going to steal whatever I don't earn. Watch out for scammers like that. Watch out for shifty people. I feel like whatever app you do on Uber or Lyft, if, if Lyft give you a three-minute brace period, get them a three-minute brace period to walk out. And they still ain't walked out, and the two minutes don't came. That or however many minutes that you want to get them being, being great, being mindful. You know that. What if that was you in that predicament? And yeah, you forgot to go grab your phone charger. Now you gotta run upstairs, take your shoes off, cause mama don't want shoes in the house. 
gotta run upstairs, grab this, grab that. Oh, damn, mama want you to take the trash out. Be mindful, you know what I'm saying? But don't be no fool or no damn dummy, you feel me? So, whatever, however many li minutes lift compared to Uber give, the two minute breaks period, once that two minute breaks period up and Uber start counting back up, and then you and your man already got like, okay, I'm gonna get them an extra two minutes. After your extra mindful, two extra, one extra minute, man, pull off, cancel that trip, find something else, because there's too much going on out here to be sitting in an area you're really not familiar with, and then to be just sitting in an area waiting on somebody to come outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gotta be mindful too, like, okay, yeah, this person got other people to pick up, other better things to do. You know what I'm saying? You could have been my last ride, and now I'm waiting on you. Now I'm two minutes late from picking up my girlfriend because I got a special date for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be mindful of things like that. Be careful, like I said, of scammers. Don't never give your phone number up. Don't never give the code that come through your phone. If you think that it's an Uber person calling you, don't never get that code up because it's not. Trust me, just like with any bank people that you bank with, they will never call you asking for your code. They will never call you asking for your number. Be smart. Be 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 mindful that there are people out here that's just out here to get you. They don't care what they got to do to get it. They gonna get it. You feel me? Um, yeah, just be mindful. Be careful when you're doing Uber or Lyft or any type of thing involving customers and people you all know. Just pray. You know what I'm saying? Keep the negative thoughts out your mind. I know some people are kind of scared to do Uber or Lyft just because of the simple fact of what's already thrown out there that makes it sound so bad. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first pray about it keep positive energy in your mind while you're doing it no negative thoughts you know what i'm saying if somebody get in your car and you don't feel like you're not comfortable with them sitting behind you be like hey excuse me can you sit on the other side of me you know what i'm saying don't never let nobody sit in the front seat of you with you because people are weird just tell their ass like hey scoot over to the other side you know what i'm saying like other than that uber's pretty good i like it I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get to doing more rides. I ain't gonna stop till about five o'clock. Maybe, maybe not even that. Maybe I might take a little lunch break, bathroom break, water break, or something like that around like 12-ish. Or grab me something to eat. Yeah, no, I gotta eat. But but other than that, just like I said, be mindful, be thoughtful while you're doing it. If you a speed racer, why you got people, why you don't have people in your car, don't be that speed racer while you got people in your car because it all comes with them rating you. They could be like, oh, this person was driving super fast, dangerous. I felt like my life was in jeopardy because some people get in the car, they don't wear masks. Some people get in the car, they don't like them, put, it, put their seatbelt on. And that's my main thing. It'd be like, put your seatbelt on. But I ain't going to tell another grown person to put their seatbelt on. Because I don't want them to feel like I'm telling them what to do. Because people hate when you tell them what to do. I just feel like if you're going to get in the car, you don't know me from a can of grapes. I don't know you from a can of grapes. Put your seatbelt on. You don't even know how I really drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could Uber could get these rates and I could get all these people to rate me good. But I might get you on a car. I might speed race because I feel like you need to be there quicker. And... Now you just, you know what I'm saying? Now we're in a car accident. And now you probably gone or head out the window because you didn't want to put the seatbelt on. Safety is first, man. Always remember, just suggest it. Don't make it seem like you're telling them what to do. Just be like, hey, um, police be tripping out here and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They probably doing a police check up here soon. So just put your seatbelt on, man, so don't not happy. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, like, man, I got insurance, but... Look, the holiday is coming up. Throw that seatbelt on you. Exactly how you got in my car is exactly how I want you to leave my car. I want you to get in my car, happy spirit, you know, safe, all your limbs, everything attached. I want you to get out of my car the same way. So that way I get a good rating and therefore you go home and your family is safe and you get before you got in the car. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, Lyft is cool. I mean, Uber is cool. Lyft next week. And I'm going to do videos on that. Day two, like I said, I love it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, something I do before I start doing Uber, since if I know that I'm going to be in my car for 10 hours, 
I, I make sure I stretch in the morning. I make sure I take water. I make sure I eat like a banana or an orange or something. Pop tart. I stop at like 12. Get out the car, use the bathroom. Drink some more water throughout my day. Have a little snack on the side. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I stretch again. I stretch at least three times a day. I do like finger exercises because my fingers are like always on the wheel like this. I do like finger exercises. People are crazy. I do like finger exercises. I'm too busy watching the traffic, but I'm really paying attention to the world and peeping y'all from my peripheral at the same time. Um, I do finger exercises like that. I do that at least four times out my day while I'm driving. Wiggle my toes a little bit, stretch my feet. You know what I'm saying? Stretch my arms, do some squats a little bit you know i'm be sitting down for a minute so but other than that like i said if it's up and it's stuck and it's lit and you know where we at with it y'all keep grinding y'all keep shining y'all keep smiling stay positive keep the negative energy out y'all way the holiday season's coming up so happy holidays to everybody real soon you know what i'm saying i only say happy holidays because life too short feel me everybody it seemed like a lot of people dying a lot of people leaving uh like i said in the last video my condolences to those people that were hurt harm in any type of way at that astro world concert y'all stay y'all y'all just stay prayed up if you don't believe in god it is what it is that's your belief once again have a blessed day thumbs up turn that great button turn that green great but great thumbs up button blue you can even do a thumbs down i'm cool with that too i don't really care you know what i'm saying but turn that great subscribe button red you feel turn that red you can even turn on your post notifications so you can know when i'm posting a video you feel me um uh, me and Bay got some videos coming soon she actually knows how to do makeup really really good and she dyes wigs and does her own wigs and also other wigs um she got a channel coming soon she got videos dropping soon on her own channel so yeah like i said if it's up then it's stuck and it's lit and i'm gone